Hey everyone, welcome back to Geektopia Island. We're here with a brand new segment we like to call Brewmon's Digi Glitch. And it is essentially we're starting in the Digimon TCG. We're going to start showing different decks, deck techs, all that fun stuff, we're, along with the deck brawls that we're going to get back to. Yep, especially since it's 1.5, correct? Yeah, you know, 1. Like, 1. we actually have a lot released. of cards. I, they really need to figure out their distribution. I, I love y'all, but y'all need to figure that out. Yeah, we need cards. Right now, because yeah, we need, we definitely need the cards. Anyways, we're going to start off today's Digi Glitch with. Uh, the green deck that is coming out is called Growth Uninterrupted, and it's with our with our boy Sarismon. You know, you gotta you gotta digivolve some stuff. Um, but before we get into you guys, we just remind you that we do have a Patreon. The link is down below. It only takes a dollar to love us and give some support down below, and we would greatly appreciate it. Um, with that, guys, let's delve into Growth Uninter Uninterrupted. So we are playing Mono Green with uh, Sarismon as the main like way through it. But we'll get through the little cards first. So the first Digi Eggs we have is Argomons. They are level two, and they're inheritable is your turn. This this Digimon becomes active during your active phase. You gain a memory. Oof. So during your turn, you get a memory, pretty much. Pretty good, pretty awesome. And of course, yeah, we have to start with the little babies, right? That's how mm -hmm. it works. Uh, Minomon, so inheritable as well. When attacking, if this Digimon attacks your opponent's Digimon, this Digimon gets plus one thousand until end of turn. So you can wipe the. Your opponent's board faster for sure. Yeah, just helps you give that extra little power to get over them. And that's pretty good for a starting baby. Uh, the next one is uh, one of our rookies. It is the Goblimon. He is a two drop, uh, 3000, and he digivolves for zero. Yep. So really, really good just because he's the super easy digivolution. What was that? Oh, oh my. I was going to pronounce this name wrong, and that would have been real embarrassing. Agumon, correct? <laughs> yeah. <laughs> I was like, he's a staple of Digimon. You can't mess that up. <laughs> yeah. All right, so he's a level three. He costs three uh, with zero to onto a level two. Uh, he's just a little one pupper, but inherited effect. Your turn, this Digimon gets plus one thousand, so not too bad. He's okay. Uh, next is Argomon as well. He is a level three and he costs two and is zero for Digivolution. He's a three thousand DP and he's just as a basic dude, but yep. it's still good because you need him for the different stuff. Exactly. The next one is uh, Tintomon. He's a level three. He costs three with the zero evolution up to two. He's a two power, but uh, when attacking, rest one of your opponent's Digimon with uh, three power or less. So that's pretty good. Just to be able, he can be able to swing in without dying that quickly. Next up is Terriermon. He is a three th uh, level three dude as well. He has a three cost for 2000 DP and he digivolves for zero. And on uh, both players' turn, your opponent cannot make gain memory except by tamer effects. So Ugh. you're like, hey, cool, all of your extra spells that give you memory, don't do it. Just don't. That's, that's pretty cute. This is a lot of lot of small ones here. Okay, we have Woodmon. It's a level four uh, with a cost of five, an evolution of two. It's a six power blocker. Uh, when attacking, you lose two memory, but he's a blocker. You need him to survive yeah. sometimes. You really just can't use this dude to block with. Uh, next is Gargomon. He is a level four for uh, five cost for 4,000 and he evolves for one. And during your turn, his inheritable for each of your opponents rested Digimon. This, this Digimon gets plus 1,000. So we're going to be tapping on their dudes a lot and you get to have a free big dude. Yep, seems good. All right. Kabutermon. Kabuterimon. Kabuterimon. Sorry, I didn't see that eye. <laughs> Anyways, also a staple. So six drop, uh, one cast for evolution, uh, five power. So your turn, this Digimon gains uh, plus 1,000 for every suspended Digimon your opponent has as the inheritable. So whenever you put him underneath and you tap all your dudes, he gets bigger. Next is Stingmon. He is a six drop, 5,000 power, and he digivolves for one. And he's a level four. Your turn, once per turn, if this Digimon destroys your opponent's Digimon by battle, gain one memory. And so as long as he stays alive, you get to gain a memory once you kill a dude. So it's really, really nice. So even if you swing in security, kill a dude, and then you get a one memory as well, that's pretty good, right? No, it's if you do piercing. Only in if it's like only if you attack that Digimon. Okay, just making sure. Yeah. Uh, Rapidmon, it's a level five. Uh, Cost six, evolution two. So your turn for every one of your opponent's rested Digimon, this Digimon gets plus 1,000 for as it's inheritable. So there's a, just a lot of, you Digivolve on this dude, your dudes get bigger. Yeah. So you're going to be able to beat the Omnimons pretty easily in power as long as you have a big stack. Yep. Uh, next is Blossomon. He is a seven drop, 7,000 power for Digivolution of three. It's a level five. And he's got download three. 
So which that is, when you would digivolve into this Digimon, you may rest one of your Digimon to reduce the digivolution cost by three. So essentially he can he can be free by tapping one of your little dudes. Yeah. And that's why we have so many little dudes because you, know, you want to get out there to actually do these uh, downloads. But we have a Boncho Mon. Oh wait, oh, those are different names, sorry. <laughs> Bonch hosting mon? Yeah. Okay, just just making sure. So he's a level six, one of the big dudes. Uh, piercing, when attacking, if this Digimon attacks your opponent's Digimon and get with uh, 1,200 or more, this Digimon gets plus 7,000. So it will never die to a big guy, ever. And security attack plus two, which is pretty awesome. Yeah. So yeah, really good. He digivolves for three, so it's kind of nice. He's really easy to digivolve into, and he's, he's kind of a low level body, but if he hits a big dude, he gets bigger. Yeah, exactly. And with piercing, you just go over them and you automatically get the security attacks, which is kind of dumb. Next up is Mega Gargumon. He is a 12 cost, 11,000 DP for a uh, Digivolution of four. And whenever he Digivolves, you rest one of your opponent's Digimon during your opponent's next active phase that Digimon cannot unactivate. So you just, you get to tap down one of the dudes and they don't untap. Pretty good. And then on your turn, if your opponent has a rested Digimon, you can, you gain security plus one. Jeez. So, you get to be super big when you play this guy and just be like, hey, cool, I'm going to kill you and you'll have your security. And if you tap all your other the other dudes and he's just a big security attack, right? Yeah. Ridiculous. Now, uh, the next one is Caressmon. It's a... So basically, it's a level 6, cost 12, a 5 for evolution, 12, 12. Download, minus 3, so it can actually cost 2. Your turn, once per turn, you may arrest your opponent's Digimon instead of your own when using download. So therefore, you can just tap your opponent's big dude and be like, or blocker, be like, get out of here. Uh, now this guy costs two. Yeah. So with Sarismon, you get all of the crazy, like, he's the control of the green. Because you're like, cool, download by tapping your big dude or tapping whatever dude I want. Play this other guy and then swing my big guy into your big guy. So like, let's say you have a big dude. You're like, cool, tap him for Digivolve on my little dude. And then my Boncho Stingmon's going to kill your dude for piercing and get security attack plus two. Yeah. Because it's just dumb. It's like You're just like, cool, I can. So what makes Sarah's Sarah Mon so silly? Because he's just like, tap all your stuff. Yeah, that's really awesome. Uh, next is Hidden Power on Discovered. Um, it is zero cost spell. If one of your green Digimon would Digivolve this turn, you may suspend one of your Digimon to reduce the memory cost of the Digivolution by five. And uh, security, add this card to your hand when it's hit. Which is good. And it costs zero. So mm -hmm. you're all good. Uh, Mimi and Takiwaka, uh, cost four, uh, start of your turn. If your memory is two or less, it becomes three and she's a trainer. Uh, once per turn, if you have level five or more green Digimon by resting this card, hatch a Digi egg in your resting area or move a level three or more Digimon from the resting area into the battle area. And the security effect is play this card without its cost. And the fact that it gives everything haste or quick, just anything to step, uh, negate the step. And so you can start swinging with your guys immediately. Yeah, it is nuts how much this stuff does for you. Like, she's so strong in what she can do. Because she gives you the free extra little dudes to give you more power. Yeah. Next up, we have Argomon. He is an 8-drop, uh, 6,000 power for Digivolution of 3. And he's a level 5. And he's got Digisorption 3, negative 3. Whenever one of your Digimon Digivolves into this card from your hand, you may suspend one of your Digimon to reduce the memory cost of the Digivolution by 3. So he can Digivolve for free, which is kind of nuts. Yeah. And then when he attacks, his inherited is when attacking, you may play one level three green Digimon from your hand suspended without paying its mana cost. So he gets to put in free dudes tapped, which is disgusting because it gives you free ability to Digivolve onto. And it gives you more dudes to tap with next turn. But um, he's super strong. He does a whole lot for you. And he's getting he's so strong that he's getting restricted on April 1st. So just know that if you're trying to play this deck, he's going to get restricted. Yeah. But we're going to show you him in all of his full glory so that way you get to see it before it gets restricted. Um, with that, guys, the deck list will be down below. It's going to be super fun to play. It's just it's a whole bunch of like tap down your dudes and it's like a weird green control deck. And it's what control what green always wanted. And this is what gives green the power it needed from set 1.0 from when we had that. So it didn't have any of this crazy stuff and now it does. So we're going to see what it can do. Yeah. Um, but we're really looking forward to it and we'll see you all again next time. Bye. Later. Also guys, make sure you hit that like button down below and subscribe to our channel and then hit that bell for any future notifications that you have for our videos. And we go ahead and give a big uh, thank you to our fans for over the years, especially our Mythic and Above Patreon followers. Thank you, Ryan. Uh, with that, we love you. Thank you for your support.